guys, Riske here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 5. Uh, so last we left off, we kicked that bat caterpillar thing's ass, and we're about to get started on chapter 2-3, so let's do it! Uh, yes. <laughs> I was all gung-ho. July 1978, the training facility is closed down. Whisker and Birkin transfer stuff. I heard about Irving. Tough break. Yes, but there will be other opportunities. Shove it to headquarters. This is headquarters. What's your situation? There's a high probability that Irving is on his way to an oil field in the marshlands. We're rejoining Delta Team and heading there now. Understood. Ah, uh, we got company. They don't let have, do they? No, they don't, Shava. What you gotta do to stop them? Don't get too trigger happy when the guns overheat. That happens. We'll be an easy target till they cool down. Well, I don't really know what to tell you, Chris. I'm doing what I can. Hold on tight. This is Captain Stone, Delta Team. I just received word from HQ. Based on the data you uploaded from that hard drive, most of the drones people have been infected by parasites known as Los Clausas. The data refers to the infected as my genie. What does all this have to do with Ouroboros? You go to him. Looks like the only way we're getting answers is from Irving. <sighs> Jesus. I'm just like, there are too many of you. God. It's gonna get bumpy. Hang on. Oh, God. Uh. Okay, well, there's a checkpoint. That's good, at least. Oh, God. Oh, shit! I didn't know there were these guys, too. Damn. Spot. Well, that's great. It scratched us. Asshole. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Huh. Ah, it's so stressful. See, this is why I couldn't be like in the military. I don't, I don't have the cool for it. You got it, Chris. Oh God. Uh, there we go. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck the guys with explosives. God, they're annoying. Oh, it's these assholes. Well, that's good now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, I'm doing what I can, okay? These aren't fucking warning shots. I'm just a really bad shot. Are we good? Are we done? No, there's just a checkpoint. Shit. Oh god! There's no getting past that truck unless you two do something about it! Well, I'm working on it. Oh, okay. Nice! Yeah, but I have absolutely zero health. This is really bad. Oh god. Like, enough already! <sighs> Jesus. Okay, at least they start me out with a little more health. I appreciate that. This is just like fucking overkill. Fuck you, asshole god! I'm working on it! God damn, easier said than done! Oh my god, how many more? I'm over it. Jesus, seriously? 
How fucking time? 1982, Alexia injects her father, Alexander. I mean, that was pretty cool, I can't lie. December 1983, Wesker Research is secondary. What could have done this? El Gigante's back, isn't that great? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, you just kind of have to keep shooting him until uh, his weak spots pop out. There's something coming out of it. We should try aiming at those. And then, of course, Shev is here to just tell you everything in explicit detail as if you're a fucking idiot. Boom! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Well, that sucks. Um. Ah, oh, hell. Well, there's not really much I can do while my gun's fucking cooling down, Sheva. Oh my god, this is getting really annoying. Yeah, he's still as annoying as ever. That hasn't changed. And unfortunately, since I'm not using my personal guns, like, he's still just difficult no matter what. Fuck you. Oh, this game is gonna get on my nerves today. I can already tell. <laughs> I mean, it already is. Maybe I should try zooming in this time. I'll try that. I let you cool down. Let you cool down. Look, there's something coming out of it. We should try aiming at those. What a great idea, Sheva. I never thought of that. Okay, maybe now I should try aiming at the barrel. There we go. That's better. Could you, like, back up, please? Personal space. Does that mean nothing to you? Okay. Let's try this again. God. 
This is so nasty. Like, I know Resident Evil has always been nasty, but this is just so nasty. Okay. Round two. Right in the face, asshole. Right in the fucking face. Okay. Okay, are they popping out of your head again? Nope, nope. Oh god, there's fucking four of them? Overkill. Just overkill. Tommy's wrong with him. You no shit. Oh, that was close. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, I should have waited. Oh, that was that was bad. Oh jeez. Okay, just one more. Just one more, and then we're good. Oh no, two more. Okay, there we go. Whew. Oh wait, they're still there. Still there. Okay. Oh god. I can't see. Jesus. There we go. Is this the last time, or do I have do I have to do it three times? That'd be really cool if this was the last time, because I really don't want to want to have to knock him down again. Is it? We good? No. Of course we're not. God damn it. Okay, Gigante, listen here. You don't scare me. I mean, they really don't scare me. They're really more annoying than anything. Similar to the Resident Evil 4 monsters, none of them are scary, they're just annoying. <laughs> okay, come on. Get them popping out of your skin, there we go. Oh god. Okay. Aim and hope for the best. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I just don't want my gun to overheat. Oh god. Okay, so just the two over here again? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, just one more? Nope, just two. Still the two. That's fine. God, what does it fucking take, man? I didn't even see that there are other bad guys. Jesus. Okay, just one more. Just one more. We got this. It is okay. Whew. All right. Finish this guy once and for all. Josh. Sheva, you don't have to do this. You can still back out. What about you? I've got a personal stake in this. A personal stake? Chris, look around. We should both get the hell out of here. I'm not here just for the mission. What are you talking about? A while back, I received some intel that my old partner was still alive. At first, I didn't know what to think. But when I saw the data file from Delta Team, I knew for sure. Jill is still alive. That woman in the data file? Are you even sure it's the same person? We were partners. I'm sure. Wait! Wait! You're not going alone! Chris, wait! I don't have much time. I have to find her. I'm going with you. These are my people that are dying here. Are you sure about this? A second ago, you were ready to cut and run. I can't just turn my back and walk away. There are no more orders from here on in. It's just us. We are partners. 
to the end. Now let's get moving. Copy that. deaths were bullshit and like i said earlier about how it'll be torrential downpour and then five seconds later the sun shining it's exactly what just happened i'm so tired of the weather in this state all right let's keep pushing let's start chapter three one um i'm good on everything uh i guess i'll take more shotgun ammo yeah other than that i'm good uh, I'll give her some more machine gun ammo. And yeah. So let's keep rocking and rolling. Simmer night. What happened to your plot? Jill and I were pursuing a man named Albert Wesker. Wesker. He was a top official with Umbrella, and the leader of our STARS unit. I met him again after the Raccoon City incident on Rockford Island. Since then, we've been trying to track him down. Then a few years ago, we got a tip from a reliable source. The whereabouts of Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. So we paid him a visit, hoping he'd lead us to Wesker. saw on that data look like her. I have to know if she's still alive. You two were close. We were partners. What about you? Why'd you join the BSAA? My parents were involved in an accident caused by a pharmaceutical company when I was young. Umbrella? Yes. I only found out later that the accident to cover up the manufacturing of biological weapons for terrorists. We're using Africa as a test bed for their experiments. Bioweapons were responsible for the deaths of my parents. And someone has to pay for that. So you joined the BSAA? There's only so much one person can do. Even a superhero like you, Chris. I'm no superhero. Together, we can end this. Then let's make a stand for our fallen brothers. Hang on. All right. Didn't even bother reading it. Something like I don't care anymore. 
Ah, <sighs> okay, so we are here on the marshlands. So I'm not crazy about this part of the game. I mean, I'm really not crazy about any of the parts of this game, but this is not my favorite just because, I don't know, it's just difficult. I mean, honestly, the, okay, we got the beast slate. Basically, we have to go to different little mini islands and pick up different like slates. The corpse of a BSAA agent, such a tragedy. His PDA has an unsent message. Schedule report. From the evidence gathered thus far, it would appear that most of Delta Team was wiped out between the time they requested backup and the time we reached the area. One of their beacons was still transmitting an active signal, so we moved to intercept due to the possibility of survivors. While en route, the, be the beacon's transmission ceased. Judging by the last transmission, the beacon should be just ahead of our current position. There is a sealed door currently blocking our route, to so infiltration may prove difficult. End report. But I do think that that is kind of cool, how we have to go to these little different islands and get different slates. It's just doing so is kind of a pain in the ass. So, okay, so we got this one, so we're done here. God damn, my neighbors are so fucking loud. Um, okay, and actually, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.